In addition to your pen grip and locked wrist, there are two other fundamental drawing habits that are also very important for you to develop. They involve spinning your paper as you draw and executing line strokes away from your body. It is important to remember to sit close to the table edge and adjust your sitting height so that you are looking at your paper from above and not from a shallow angle. Learn to spin your paper as you draw to find an optimum sketching angle. Do not position your paper edge so that it is always parallel to your table edge. Your arm and hand will not have enough room to maneuver in order to attain the most natural sketching strokes. Instead, you should always execute your sketching strokes away from your body. This is called the power stroke. You will notice that line work always looks weaker when it is drawn inward toward the body. As you can see, this principle fully applies to drawing curved lines as well. These two habits will always ensure that you are drawing at a paper angle that is most comfortable for you by spinning the paper, which in turn allows you to push your pen or pencil away from you with the maximum amount of control, power, and forward momentum in your line stroke, resulting in a confidently and cleanly drawn line every time. In this slightly sped up sequence, I am demonstrating the ideal integration of proper pen grip, locked wrist, paper spin, and power stroke as I sketch in the left column. In the right column, you will notice that I do use a proper pen grip and locked wrist, but I make no effort to spin the paper while consistently sketching toward my body. The difference in drawing quality between the two columns is quite noticeable, especially with regard to the cubes. The left column sketches demonstrate a much higher level of control and accuracy, while the sketches on the right are comparatively less controlled and less accurate.